Welcome everyone to our channel. We are here to help you sculpt your body to perfection. Today, we're focusing on the unsung heroes of arm strength, the forearms. These muscles are crucial for grip strength, wrist stability, and they can really make your arms pop. Whether you're a bodybuilder or someone just looking to improve their overall strength, these exercises are for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want more fitness content. Ready to pump those forearms? Let's dive in. First up, we have the hammer curls. This exercise is an all-star in the world of forearm training, and for good reason. Hammer curls work both your biceps and your brachialis, a muscle of the upper arm. But the magic really happens in your forearms. The neutral grip position targets your forearm muscles, specifically the brachioradialis, a muscle that often gets overlooked. Performing the hammer curl is straightforward, but precision is key. Start with your arms fully extended, palms facing your torso. Keep your elbows close to your body. Now, while maintaining the upper arm stationary, curl the weights while contracting the biceps as you breathe out. Continue to raise the weights until your biceps are fully contracted and the dumbbells are at shoulder level. Hold the contracted position for a brief moment as you squeeze your biceps. Then, slowly begin to bring the dumbbells back to the original position as you breathe in. For beginners, starting with 2 to 3 sets of 8 to 12 reps is a good place to start. If you're intermediate, consider 3 to 4 sets of 12 to 15 reps. And for those advanced individuals, 4 to 6 sets of 15 to 20 reps should be your aim. But remember, it's not about how fast you can complete these reps or how many you can do. It's about maintaining the correct form and making each rep count. Remember, form over speed, quality over quantity. Next, we're moving on to reverse bicep curls. This exercise is a fantastic way to target both the biceps and the brachioradialis, a muscle of the forearm. It's all about flipping the script, literally, on your standard bicep curl. Here's the drill. Stand up straight, shoulders back, arms fully extended, and a dumbbell in each hand. Now, instead of your palms facing up like in a regular bicep curl, they're going to face down. This is the reverse grip, and it's what makes this exercise a little different. Slowly curl the weights while keeping your upper arms stationary. Continue to raise the weights until your biceps are fully contracted and the dumbbells are at shoulder level. Hold the contracted position for a brief pause as you squeeze your biceps. Then inhale and slowly begin to lower the dumbbells back to the starting position. Like any exercise, form is key. Keep your elbows close to your torso at all times. Don't use your back or shoulders to lift the weights. Your forearm should do all the work. In terms of sets and reps, consider starting with 3 sets of 12 to 15 repetitions. As you get stronger, you can increase the weight or the number of sets. Reverse bicep curls are a great way to add some variety to your arm workouts, and they'll help you build both strength and size in your forearms and biceps. They're a testament to the fact that sometimes, a little change can make a big difference. Remember, consistency is key. Keep pushing. Now, let's focus on wrist curls. This exercise is a simple but effective way to strengthen your forearms and improve your grip strength, which will be beneficial not only in the gym, but also in your daily life. Wrist curls target the flexor muscles located on the palm side of your forearm. The form is straightforward. Hold a dumbbell in each hand, sit on a bench, and rest your forearms on your thighs with your palms facing upwards. Let your wrists hang over the edge of your knees. Curl the weights up and down by moving your wrists only. Keep your forearms still and ensure you're controlling the movement throughout the entire range of motion. The benefits are numerous. Wrist curls can help you increase your forearm size, enhance your grip strength, and improve your arm aesthetics. They also aid in preventing injuries by strengthening your wrists, which are often neglected in many workout routines. As for sets and reps, start with 2 to 3 sets of 12 to 15 reps. The weight should be heavy enough to challenge you, but not so heavy that you can't maintain proper form. Remember, like any other exercise, consistency is key. So, make sure you incorporate wrist curls into your regular training routine. However, avoid overdoing it. Your muscles need time to recover and grow. And there you have it, a simple yet powerful exercise to build those forearms and improve your grip strength. Remember, it's all about gradual progress. Keep up the good work. Another great exercise for your forearms is the reverse wrist curl. This exercise is all about targeting and sculpting your forearm extensors, the muscles that run along the back of your forearm. The reverse wrist curl is a simple yet effective move that can be done with a barbell or dumbbell, and you can perform it either standing or sitting. 
To do this exercise correctly, start by holding a weight with an overhand grip. Your palms should be facing down, and your hands should be shoulder width apart. Rest your forearms on your thighs or on a bench, with your wrists hanging off the edge. From here, you'll want to lower the weight as far as comfortably possible, then curl it back up towards the ceiling. Now let's talk about the benefits. Reverse wrist curls not only build forearm strength, they also improve your grip. This can be a game changer for other lifts and daily activities that require a strong grip. As for sets and reps, I suggest starting with three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Increase the weight gradually as you get stronger, but always prioritize form over heavy lifting. Incorporate reverse wrist curls into your regular routine for a few weeks and you'll start to notice a difference. Your forearms will become more defined and your grip will feel stronger. Remember your journey is unique, keep going at your own pace. Finally, we have the dead hang on bar. This exercise, seemingly simple, is an absolute powerhouse when it comes to forearm development. So let's dive right in. The dead hang is all about grip strength. It's as uncomplicated as it sounds. You just hang from a bar, but it's the dead in dead hang that's key here. You're not swinging, you're not pulling up, you're just hanging. Dead weight. Sounds easy, right? Well, let's see. To perform a dead hang, you need to find a bar that's high enough so your feet won't touch the ground. Reach up and grab the bar with both hands, palms facing away from you. Now lift your feet off the ground and let your body hang. Keep your arms and shoulders relaxed. You're not trying to do a pull-up, remember? It's all about the hang. Now you might be thinking, how is just hanging there going to help my forearms grow? Well, as you're hanging there, every muscle in your arm is engaged, from your fingertips right up to your shoulders. But the real magic is happening in your forearms. They're working overtime to keep your grip on the bar. Over time, this will lead to an increase in grip strength and forearm size. As for sets and reps, well, with dead hangs, it's more about time. Start with hanging for as long as you can, even if that's just 15 seconds. Then take a break and do it again. Aim for five rounds. As your grip strength improves, so will your hang time. You might start with 15 seconds, but with consistent training, you could work up to a minute or even longer. The benefits of dead hangs extend beyond just forearm growth. They're great for improving overall upper body strength, they can help improve posture, and they can even help relieve back pain. Plus, they're a great way to finish off a workout. So there you have it, the dead hang. A simple yet incredibly effective exercise for forearm development. Remember, every rep counts. You're doing amazing. That's it for our five exercises for bigger forearms. We've covered hammer curls, reverse bicep curls, wrist curls, reverse wrist curls, and the dead hang on the bar. Each offers unique benefits to boost your forearm growth. Remember, consistency and proper form are critical. Incorporate these exercises into your routine to see significant improvements. Remember, your only competition is the person you were yesterday. Keep striving for progress, not perfection. Until next time.